I know all of you want to learn how to do a flying sidekick, uh, how to flip somebody to a flying uh, uh, arm bar and do some crazy wazoo shit, but when we teach self-defense, we always talk about the pre-contact cues and we talk about devaluing what you're worth to the bad guy. So if you're not worth anything, come in a bit closer because it's real noisy out here, Jake. Um, if, you're, if you're not worth anything to the guy, you're not gonna get mugged, he doesn't want your money. So the intention is here, imagine it's late, there's somebody watching me, I don't notice them, I don't have any awareness here. Uh, and so we start with that. I mean, look around before you jump up. This is, the ATM machines are amazing places to get jumped. You decide it's safe to go. You got your card out, you stuck it in the machine, you pulled it out, some of them come out right away like this one does, some of them stay in there. The most important thing for you to remember here is, as far as devaluing yourself is the freaking cancel button. The cancel button. So imagine this, imagine the camera's point of view is now a mugger who's dressed in a suit, he's got glasses on his little disguise, but he's the perfectly good looking mugger. There's no pre-contact, there's no tell. So I'm here like this. I'm doing this thing, I punch it in, I look over, all of a sudden I got a bad feeling. Now, 99% of the people who survive vic victims of attacks have said they knew there was a premonition, there was a bad feeling before that. So they were all right. They lived to tell the tale, they lived to tell the tale, and they went on. What is going on here? Thank you. No, cancel. Thank you. I'm doing a film. So here's the deal. The second you get a bad feeling, we always tell people in our self-defense awareness classes, you're better off being wrong about a premonition but acting on it than ignoring it and being right. Does that make sense? You don't want to be the victim of an attack. No matter how much money you have in here, you can't afford to be attacked. I hope that makes sense to you. So I'm here like this, I put the card in. As Soon as I get a bad feeling, I will hit cancel, I will pause, and I will do this. What? the fuck what do you mean insufficient funds I just deposited what the fuck is going on here this is freaking bullshit I have money in here fuck now if I did something like that and there was an attacker on the side there going well, fuck this guy's got a bad temper and he has no money do I really want to attack him does that make sense everybody you don't need to get into the fight devalue yourself in advance in advance hit that cancel button practice the acting there's two things bad guys don't want to get caught they don't want to get hurt there are three things somebody wants when they attack you it's either your property your body your life if it's an attack at an atm machine it's property initially so by by playing this out this little scenario out and be standing here like this i got a bad vibe two guys walk up to me i hit cancel right away so no money can come out right i don't want to get knocked out and have them accessing funds i hit that i do a little fucking shit i don't believe this i don't believe she spent all the money where the fuck's my money and i walk away the guys are going whoa okay domestic issues no money bad temper let's pick another victim i hope that makes sense to you sorry there was no flying sidekicks my glasses didn't fly off i'm not wearing designer jeans and the only juicing i've ever done does smoothie count? Does a smoothie count, Jason? We were talking about this earlier. Does smoothies count? That's the only juicing I've ever done, I swear. I'm out of here. Bye.